Hello everybody and welcome back to Multiplay's Pokemon Sapphire version. Today we are starting off showing some Pokemon that I ran into while grinding Melissa and little Nene back up to the proper levels. Uh, that is Evolve Beat, which is Buck Flying, so it is weak to Fire, um, Electric, and Ice. Uh, that is a mural. Uh, we have gone over it before, but uh, I found it on the same route as Volbeat, so I thought you guys would like to see that. Yay, Melissa! And finally, Wild Rose Raid. Same route as the other two. And I know we've gone over her before, so. And Illumis! Same typing and therefore weaknesses as Volbeat. Uh. Personally, my preferred of the two. And now we are in front of the Trick House because after earning Watson's Gym Badge, we have unlocked the second Trick House Challenge. And now we go in the back. And we go over here. And there is a wave mail. Now this particular challenge is basically find switches and press them. While navigating around the trainers in the place. Because trainers... Well, because the switch. Because there are holes in the floor, and switches will uh, fill up the holes. <laughs> uh, I was amazed that killed it in one hit. Must be the level difference. And as you can see, that switch did not open up that hole over there. So, uh, don't expect the switches to, um, open up the nearest hole to them. But as you can see, that switch opened up that hole. And here's another little, uh, I believe he's a kid? School kid? Yes. Is that where they got Max's design off of? The school kid? Sprite? And I forgot to mute my phone before starting the recording. Lovely. That is my sweet weekend. I am going to mute my phone now. Here we go. And let's see, does he have anything? No, nothing interesting to share with you guys. Uh. talk about. Um, hmm. Well, uh, I've pretty much, uh, finished the, uh, pre-credits stuff. I finished the pre-credits stuff in, uh, White 2, and, uh, I am almost done with the post credit stuff. There's a challenge I can go through where, since I am playing White 2, I can get a shiny Dratini if I finish it. But, <laughs> my sweetie Weedums has advised. Well, not necessarily advised. He has told me that it is quite a challenging place. And, uh... Basically, you have to go through ten floors fighting various trainers. And you can level up and, uh, basically grind there. It's just, uh... 
you can't use your items. Anything that's in your bag is off limits. <laughs> so... Oh, that is a butterfly, which is bug flying and uh, weak to electric and uh, fire and ice. So, uh, you've got to progress through the th place as best as you can without um, losing too many Pokémon and uh, There are nurses and doctors in there, from what I've heard. It's just, uh, you've got to uh, speed through there without taking too much damage if you want to get all the way to the final floor, where you can beat the guy that will give you your shiny Dratini if you're playing white too, or your shiny Gibble, if you're playing Black too. And, uh... Personally, I'm gonna wait till my Pokémon are at least at level 80 before I even think about challenging the place. So, uh... I am going to fart around for a bit. Mostly with, um... Transferring... Uh, Pokémon over so that I can work on my Pokédex. With, uh... White too. Cause something awesome that happens when you finish the national decks, you get an object called the shiny charm. It increases your chances of running into a shiny Pokemon by thirty three percent. I don't remember the exact number for wild Pokemon with the boosted uh, encounter rate, but uh, if you're using the Masuda method, which is basically breeding a foreign Pokemon with your Pokemon, uh, it pretty much lowers the chances down to 1 in 1000. To be technical, it's 1 in 1024, but close enough. So, uh, <laughs> I can imagine I'll be, uh, grinding for a shiny Zubat sometime soon. Seriously, I'd pay money to get, uh, if, if I had no Pokemon that, uh, the person wanted in exchange for the shiny that I wanted, I would offer to them instead ten dollars <laughs> for a piece of data that you have uh, normally uh, one in eight thousand one hundred ninety chance of encounter. $10 is enough to make up for that, right? <laughs> but, uh, And now we are going on Cycling Road, which is a place that technically opens up to you. Once you have gotten the bike from Rydal, And uh, a lot of the trainers here like to use Voltorb and Magnemite, so it could be another good way to prepare yourself for uh, Watson. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever be getting to the actual challenge uh, in the LP, but um, if you start if you enter Cycling Road from the Mauville entrance, uh, with the Mach Bike, you will be on a timer, and as this timer, at, it's basically 
timing how long it takes for you to get through to the other end. To, uh... The psyche cycling road, and, uh... You get penalties if you bump into things, and... I forget if you get something good for it. I might end up uh, going through it just to see what you get, but uh, hmm. But yeah, the electric types are quite annoying for me at this point because I do not have anything that can easily slay them. In fact, I don't think I ever will. Technically. So, uh... The trick type shall be the bait of my existence. But, not as much as a flying type would be. Because, uh... Next part... <laughs> I can't progress forward because there's a guy that I have to fight. But he has a Pokemon with a flying type attack, and uh, since Melissa at that point is not exactly equipped to handle that specific Pokemon, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, not gonna have much fun with that guy, and uh, I'm probably gonna rage when I do the commentary for it. <laughs> but, uh, Though I could just, uh, fight more trainers to get them leveled up until Melissa learns something good. Uh, eh, whatever. Uh, hmm. But... <sighs> there... is this piece of bread with something delicious spread onto it in front of me. And I want to eat it so bad. But I don't want to get chewing noises on the commentary. But it's such a delicious piece of bread. It's sourdough. And, uh, and yay, Melissa grows a level. And we're done with that cycler. This guy has something funny. He reads pretty much every instance of Rydal on your bike, and it, as you can see, it takes uh, quite a few text boxes to uh, properly convey how much. And here's what does he? Have? He has just one Pokemon, and it is Magnemite. We now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where Nene got Gust from. I'm assuming it's from Papa Seth, but uh, pretty good to have that move since uh, heck, well, it gives Nene another stab of a different type. And uh, if you don't know what stab is, basically. It stands for same type attack bonus, and it just refers to when you use a move that has a typing that matches the typing of the Pokemon. So, say a bug type move uses. No, a bug type Pokemon uses a bug type move. It. the move would get a stab. would get stab, and, uh. What Stab does is double the power of the move, I believe. Which is also a good reason why, um, early on in the game, when you're- if you start with a Torchic, it would be better to use Ember than something like Scratch, because Ember draws from the special stat, which Geodude are not as capable of defending against. 
and it gets the stab bonus, so it does even more damage. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and I think I remember something about this guy. I quite dislike him because he made me whip out Chuck. No, not Chuck Norris. I'm naming him Bruce Lee this time around. He made me whip out Bruce Lee when I did not want to use Bruce Lee because he is a stupid ninny that will not succumb to Astonish's flinching. Grrrr. And also, Sonic Boom. Uh, I forget if I've gone over it before, but uh, Sonic Boom, even though it's a normal type, it's an attack that always does 20 damage. So, uh, and it doesn't matter what type it's hitting against, I think only ghosts are immune to Sonic Boom because it's a normal type, so Sonic Boom will do 20 damage on everything but a ghost. Which could be useful in the early game, but uh, at this point in the game we are leveled enough that uh, going through well, getting Sonic, using, depending on Sonic Boom, is the word I want, would not be a terribly fun idea. Because it would take forever. Just to, uh, eliminate an opponent. Part's about to end! I will see you next time on Wootie Plays Pokemon Sapphire version. See you then!